What's up, everybody? We broadcasting live from the hospital. Birth and delivery blog during a pandemic. And we just wanted to share our experience with y'all. Having to go to labor with masks, having to check in and like go through a checkpoint and whole screening. The nurses are literally like coming in. Sorry, I'm gonna take this off because like, it's hard for me to breathe. The nurses cannot come in your room without, without a mask. mask. Only one visitor is allowed. I know I was worried, you know, towards the end of my pregnancy because things were changing every day. And I was just so scared you weren't gonna be able to be with me. And we still aren't able to have any visitors. So no one's been able to see our newborn baby, none of our family, none of our friends. But here's our experience. And we wanted to share this with y'all. It's a very special and intimate moment y'all make sure y'all stay true and hit the like button It's the day. Suitcases. Houston. Tell him what's going on, Dad. Tell him what's going on. I was out for my morning run, and she texted me. So I had to run back and wake the kids up and tell them it's about that time. There you go. And we'll go back to mom time. You're going to take care of the kids? <laughs> you just locked, closed the door. So you decided to shut the door on me, yeah? I'm stuck. We're gonna need a bigger car, y'all. Where's my bag on window? I think he took it. Uh, Houston! You're just gonna leave me? Oh. <laughs> Dropping off the kids. You got, you got the <laughs> What about your suitcase? That hurt. <laughs> Just dropped the kids off. I'm super nauseous. I'm hungry, so I think we're gonna get some. You still wanna stop and get some food? Yes, I'm hungry. They're not gonna let me eat. Uh, he don't... trying to not feed me. It nah, says on my. You gonna take a dump all over the doctor? Babe, shut up. So we're gonna stop and get me some food. I don't care what like he says, cause I'm hungry and they're not gonna let me eat. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I know I'm not dilated. How you know? I just know it. You don't know? I wasn't dilated yesterday, and I haven't been contracting um, like, you know, I should be when you're dilating. But we'll see. Either way, I'm still gonna eat. All right, That's, what do you wanna eat, baby? Tell me what you want. <laughs> Some Chick-fil-A. All right, let's go get Chick-fil-A. Pull a nut to the Chick-fil-A. Don't play. Why do you go to the slow lane? I'm gonna go to the fast lane on little baby. Take a great day here at Chick-fil-A. My name is Nate. How may I serve you? <laughs> so we just got screened, masks on, heading to labor and delivery. How do I have to tell you? It was a false alarm. So apparently because of what she did to me yesterday it's kind of normal for it to happen what did she do to you yesterday she stripped my membrane but i did call her because i didn't want to have to come in for no reason which we had to anyways um and she just suggested for me to come in just to be sure 
but it's not happening today you guys so we'll be back tomorrow at night to actually start the process they told us to come back tomorrow night yeah as, as i was scheduled to to get induced because the baby i'm not dilated at all and the baby is still far up there it hasn't even dropped down Back in the car, this time we don't believe it is a false alarm, it's the real deal, holy shit. She's been having these contractions since before we fell asleep. I went to sleep, she didn't go to sleep. She woke me up and said, let's go. So we're on our way to have a baby and they let me stay. Contractions are like every four minutes and on a scale from one to ten. Gotta say they're an eight. <laughs> but we'll update y'all when we get there. Alright, we made it. It's about 12.30 at night. Let's go see what it do. She's three centimeters dilated. It's time to have a baby. Aww. Three in the morning. This is my bed for the next day or two. I got my snack bag over there. It smells so good. I want some Doritos. I want some Funyuns. Oh. Uh, so go sneak me one. You want a Funyun? Yeah. <laughs> they told her she can't eat. Here she go I eating. I saw one. Let me just taste it. Got the burritos, got the cookies, and the funyuns. You want a cookie or a funyun? What do you Both. want? Oh, get your hair on my funyun. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some of this menu de comida. 3.44 a.m. The medicine just kicked in. I got my epidural, you guys, woo! <laughs> It's about 4.20 in the morning. We're gonna try to take a nap. You good, Kelly Jean? Good. All right. It's not gonna rain every single day. It's about that time. You ready? Yes, they just came in, checked me, and the baby is right there, but my doctor is delivering another baby, so we're trying to hold off. I throw twice, so that's a sign of labor and that the baby's coming, so here we are. He stuck his hand out already. You're stupid, don't make me laugh. <laughs> he stuck his hand out and waved to me. Tell me why, hold on, hold on. Tell me why Lucky's over in the restroom blowing it up. <laughs> I had to take my morning dump. That boy took a boo-boo in the hospital while I'm sitting And you about don't be quiet, well, we'll be back with y'all in a minute. About to be here any minute, any yeah, any minute now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm be able to hold this baby until my doctor's done delivering her other baby. You ready? <laughs> Take a deep breath. All right. All right. Ah, Showtime. You ready? Yes. Yeah. 
just had him. It is 7.41, so it's been about an hour. He was born at 6.45 a.m. Say cheese. Say so what's happening? Look his ear. Tuck it in his head. This one? Yeah. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, he's so cute, you guys. His ear, babe. Oh, this one. That's the one you were trying to do. I mean, but I didn't know it was all like that. There you go. You good? You good? Go ahead, Mom. It's cold. Okay, 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 okay. So, we had baby Christian De Niro Garcia, 6.45 a.m. on April 29th, 2020 during the coronavirus during this whole pandemic god blessed us with some baby. joy and light in this dark situation look how cute he is dada that's dada i'm showy what happened well i'm gonna uh put y'all down some order water. some food uh, lucky tried ordering me some food and they still had me down for only liquids so I'm about to raise hell. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'm going to see what's up so I can eat and then try and sleep a little bit. Okay, okay. He said he hungry too. They haven't weighed him or done anything. We were doing skin to skin. I tried to breastfeed him. He did eat. But I think he's still hungry. Maybe I should try to feed him some more. You want to? Yeah, let's go.